Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. And amen. My name is Caesar. I want to welcome you to our YouTube channel on this uh, beautiful day. We want to thank the Lord. Amen. And amen. We are located at the county of Nairobi. This is our local church, Solid Drop International Ministries. And we are next to uh, the Jericho Market, which happens to be opposite at uh, the Metropolitan Hospital. Buru Buru, our services start at 8 a.m. and we end at about 12 p.m. Uh, if you happen to be looking for a local church, uh, we highly recommend uh, our church to you. And if you have loved ones who are looking for a place to belong and to become like uh, Christ himself, can recommend us church to them and we shall bless the Lord for you in the name of Jesus. And today we are in the book of uh, Isaiah chapter number 11. It's a very prophetic chapter. It speaks about Jesus Christ. And uh, we shall read from verse 1 all the way to verse number 8. And uh, verse number 1 of Isaiah chapter 11. The Bible says, and before we go to the reading, I also want to welcome uh, all the first-time uh, viewers. Kindly subscribe to our channel and uh, grow with us as we grow in the Lord. In the name of Jesus. Thank you so much. Amen. Therefore, in Isaiah chapter 11 from verse 1, the prophet Isaiah says, Out of, out of the stem of this a rod shall, uh, shall appear. A rod shall appear from the stem of David. And out of his roots there shall be a branch. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. And you know, uh, when the Bible says that a rod, you know, a rod is a finished product that comes from the stem. And you see how a carpenter works, works on the, on the wood and he makes it a finished product. We know all the tools uh, that the carpenters use uh, for the wood to appear in its finished form. And this just shows a, a picture of perfection of our Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible says, the prophet Isaiah says in Isaiah chapter 11, and verse 1, from the stem of Jesse, a road shall appear, a finished product shall appear. Out of its roots, a branch shall appear. You know, we, we, see, we see branches from trees or that are part of trees. The starting point of the branch is in its root. Praise the Lord. Amen. And before a branch emerges, there has to be a root underneath the ground. And Jesus was the perfect Son of God. Amen. And we are told that out of the stem of Jesus, a rod shall appear. Out of his roots, there shall be a branch. Praise the Lord. Amen. The lineage the lineage of David, of Jesse, the Messiah shall come out of royalty, out of royalty, in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Amen. And we thank God that we have a perfect God who was made flesh according to the scriptures and became just like us in the name of Jesus. Amen. He became just like us. And then in verse number 2 of Isaiah chapter 11, the Bible says, The Spirit, the Spirit of the Lord shall be upon him. The Spirit of the Lord shall be upon him. The Spirit of understanding and of the knowledge of God. The Spirit of understanding and of the knowledge of God shall be upon him. The spirit of counsel and might. 
let me speak about this for, for a minute. The spirit of counsel and might. You know, Jesus had wisdom, the wisdom of God. Remember the book of Luke says that he grew up in wisdom and in state having favor with God and all men. And then it says, Isaiah 11 and verse 2, the spirit of counsel and of might shall be upon him. Jesus was a king. And they told the spirit of might, he's a strong king. He wasn't pushed around. Remember when he went to the temple and he found them selling and trading in the house of God. He took a whip. He took a whip and he chased them out like a madman. He chased them out of the house of God like a madman. When he could encounter spirits, he could tell them, Get out! Get out! That's how mighty our Jesus was and still is. Amen. The spirit of counsel and the spirit of might. He's a strong God. Our God is strong and mighty, mighty in battle. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And then he goes on to say in verse number 3. Hallelujah. He shall delight. He shall delight in the fear of God. He shall delight himself in the fear of God. Praise be to God. And then he describes his ministry from verse number 4. Isaiah describes his ministry from verse number 4 of Isaiah chapter 11. He says concerning the poor, Concerning the poor, remember the Bible said that the Spirit of the Lord is upon me. In Isaiah 61, and also in Luke chapter 4 and verse 18, the Spirit of the Lord is upon me, for he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. And in Isaiah chapter 11, he lays out the ministry of the Messiah. He says he will give justice to the poor. He will give justice to the poor. And the meek of the earth, those who are humble, he will be kind to them. Praise be to God. He will give justice to the poor. Those who are meek, those who are humble, he will be kind to them in the name of Jesus. And then he says, with the rod of his mouth, he will punish, he will punish the earth, the words that he speaks. He will punish the earth. Hallelujah. Amen. With his mouth, he will slay the wicked. He will slay the wicked. With the message of the gospel, he will punish. He will punish the earth. He will slay the wicked. And then he says, Isaiah says, from verse number 5 of Isaiah 11. That righteousness. He shall guide himself with the righteousness. And faithfulness. Shall so faithfulness. Shall be. In his bed. Or rather he shall guide himself. His waist. With faithfulness. Righteousness. And faithfulness. Praise be to God. And then from verse 6 all the way to verse number 8, Isaiah says, Isaiah says to us, he describes nature, how the, the carnivorous animals will live together with the, uh, do we call them the herbivorous, the ones that eat grass? I believe so. Amen. The carnivorous animals, the lions, the wolves, the leopard, you know, uh, the, the cow, the goat, the lamb, these are meat to them. But he, uh, as the prophet gives a picture about the reign of the Messiah. He says, The wolf shall lay down next to the lamb, 
something that is an adhoof. It says the lion, the young lion, and the calf, together with the fatling, they shall eat together. And then it says the leopard and the young goat shall eat together. And a young child, someone who is innocent, a young child shall lead them. And then he goes on to say, the lion shall eat grass together with the ox. And a sucking child, a child who is innocent, what shall he do? What shall he do? He shall approach the cobra. He shall approach the cobra. He will not be hurt. The wind child shall go into the den of the viper. And he shall not be hurt. Praise the Lord. Isaiah paints a picture about the kingdom of God, the new Jerusalem. The kingdom of God, the new Jerusalem, that the road out of the storm of Jesse, that the branch, the branch out of the roots of Jesse, the kingdom that he was going to bring here on earth. Praise the Lord. Because he says in Matthew chapter, in Matthew, in the book of Matthew, hallelujah, when he began to preach, Jesus would say in Matthew chapter 4. Repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. I believe it should be verse number 17, if I'm not wrong. Repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. Those were his first words. The kingdom, the kingdom of the son of Jesse is here. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen and amen. These are the words of the prophet Isaiah. We have read all the way from verse chapter 11 from verse 1 to verse number 8. Powerful verses, powerful word, prophetic word of the prophet Isaiah concerning the stem, the road that will come out of the stem of Jesus and the branch that will come out of his roots, who is the Messiah, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Let me conclude this reading here and encourage us to receive this kingdom. If we believe in our Lord Jesus, that he is from the lineage of David, that he is the Messiah, Amen. Then we shall receive this kingdom. We shall receive this kingdom kingdom. Amen. We are told that he will give justice to the poor. He will be kind to those who are humble. But to the disobedient he will rebuke by the word of his mouth. He will not be on the receiving end of his anger. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. Amen. And when all is said and done and when all is said and done and Christ comes and sets up his kingdom where the wolf will lay down next to the lamb where the leopard will sleep next to the goat where the calf and the young lion shall lay down together with the fatling where the lion and the ox will eat grass together. When the young child shall put his son on the cobra's nest or on the cobra's uh, hole, I will not be beaten. When the wind child shall get into the viper's den and not get hurt, that is the kingdom of God. That is the kingdom of the Messiah. In the name of Jesus, may we all be part of that kingdom that was prophesied and spoken of by Prophet Isaiah. In the name of Jesus, amen and amen. Hallelujah. Let me stop here because of time, but we shall be on our knees praying for you and calling on the name of the Lord for you. 
the Lord bless you, the Lord keep you, the Lord make his face to shine upon you and give you peace. Goodbye, we love you with the love of the Lord, in the name of Jesus. Amen.